always said I was born on the wild side. One foot in the flames and the other trying to walk the line. Can't say I never saw it coming, I can see the warning signs. I'm gonna take from everybody your feet, dude. Oh, dude, they are just stacked right here. Up right here. And my fly was on top, and I watched them. It's when the clock strikes midnight, gonna ride the lightning, feel the thunder, till the darkness pulls me under. Gonna fly on wings of fire, breathing good, Lord, lifts me higher, singing, oh, when they call me on. Singing, oh. Beautiful fish. Gonna ride the river. There's a man in a black coat standing at a crossroads. With a pen in his hand and a long list of lost They say he flips a corn forge at a fool's gold. There's a man in a black coat standing at a crossroads. I hope he lets me pass by. When I close my eyes, I'm gonna ride the lightning, feel the thunder, till the darkness pulls me under. Gonna fly on wings of fire, breathing good, Lord, lifts me higher, singing, oh, when they call. Hey, what's happening guys? Chris here with Hooked on Alaska. Today I got two of my buddies, Chris and Chris, with me. We are down at the Russian River. We are headed down. Uh, right now we just got to the parking lot and it's pretty empty. Nobody's here, so we will see how the fishing is. Just talked to two guys and they said it was pretty slow, so <laughs> we're going to stay positive and head down to the confluence and uh, hopefully get into them this evening. That's the plan. A lot of the salmon like to move at night, so nighttime's a good time to target them. They'll be in there moving from hole to hole. And we're gonna take advantage of that. So we're getting down in here with the woods in the woods with the bears and uh hopefully we get some cool video and uh we'll stay safe and we'll see you guys soon. Alright, bye. Any luck? Oh we just got it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Good luck. They they are being aggressive. I took my weight off, dude. They've been slamming it. Ooh. All right, guys, got a nice one here. I'll come over there by you guys so you guys don't have to, uh, so you can take a picture of me. Go drip that hole. Someone trade me. One person stay and take a picture, and then uh, one person drip that hole. He just basically just dripped it out there and let it sit. Ouch! That sucker is running, dude. It looks like a huge ass dolly. It looks like a dolly, huh? Oh, it's a bow, dude. That's a freaking cool looking bow too. Here's my phone. That one might not fit. Oh, that one will fit. Drop it back. Yep. Perfect. Flip it up, turn it up. Yeah. Beauty. Sweet. Alright, I'm gonna try to hit that. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's gonna be all night, dude. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful bow.
We're at. Check it out. I'm gonna get my camera going. Yeah, I got my GoPro on. Pretty nice. We won't, we won't even then. them, we'll just, we'll just, we'll get them a quick release, we know how to take care of them. We got them dude, we'll take good care of them. We got them. Oh, we take good care of our fish over here, trust me. You didn't even give us a chance to prove it to you. Sorry, man. Get out of here. Don't come around our fish anymore. I'm going to catch one right by your feet, dude. Oh, dude, they are just stacked right here, Chris. Dude, no, I, I, I was walking down and then, boom! Yeah. I pulled it up right here, and my fly was on top, and I watched him eat it. Come up and hit it? Choked it. Cool. Yeah. Dolly or a bow? Still cool. Actually cooler. We'll, we'll get to like the rainbows better. But you want to get a nice boat, dolly, so we get a good picture of it. I'm just taking videos and then I'll take the still shot out of the video. Guys, okay, so McAllister's got a nice rainbow. That's two nice rainbows for him. Go ahead and get a nice release on him. Ooh, that's one. Out, yeah. Nice. He's ready to go. Ooh. Yeah. Sweet. They're right here. Yeah, dude, I got hit like four times on the way just, through I here. was just walking yeah. it. <laughs> no weight. No way. I, yeah. just, thought cool. on still. I yeah. just thought it was cool. I just thought it was cool because I literally wa I was stroking it back and I literally just watched him come up. Oh, boom. And, really? whole, and the whole thing just disappeared. I was like, nice. oh, yeah. That was fun. Fuck yeah. When I hooked that charm or that dolly and I almost fell, my son got a little wet. Did it? The pocket was cranked. Oh, no. So I put it in my top pocket. There you go. First cast. Second. Right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, what's up, guys? Chris here, back on another move. Uh, me and the two Chris's have decided that Centennial Park wasn't happening. So first, we fished Upper River. Then we uh, we fished Upper River, the Russian River, Kenai Confluence. Then we zipped on down to uh, Centennial Park, which is kind of lower river. And then uh, now we're back up to the Mid River. We're up at Bing's Landing. So. We are trying all stops. Uh, uh, we're not giving up on this whole red mission. We're gonna get some reds one way or another, even if we gotta chase them down. We got one on but uh, yeah, we got one on the board. Chris got one. So he's got our dinner all caught for us. Chris over here, he's caught some nice, nice rainbow trout, nice dolly varden. Hopefully, maybe we'll get some nice dollies and rainbows. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of catch and cook later going on. So all kinds of good stuff coming your way very soon. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. I think, we think we found the fish, officially. So now we're just kind of taking our time finding the spot we want to fish. And hopefully we'll get some limits. Limits for all. But uh, it seems like there's quite a few fish in the river, so that's a good sign. We've seen quite a few rainbows jumping, so we'll definitely be paying them a visit here in a little bit after things settle down. Go out there and whip some bead patterns at them we just slayed them on the russians so definitely looking forward to that i know there's some nice big rainbow trout here on the mid river too so there's a chance at a, a pb right here even though we got one pb 
busted on the trip already. But all right, guys, we'll see you in a bit. Look at that and all he is. He's been eating good. Hey, you're, you're controlling him good. He's definitely in the mouth. So Chris has saved the day and he's got us a nice red salmon to eat here. So we went ahead and brought the barbecue along. We're gonna do a little bit of catch and cook. Basic, probably about the most basic way you can cook fish on the barbecue. Piece of tin foil, which we only had a little tiny piece of tin foil because I messed up, brought the wrong tin foil. Bunch of butter, as you can see, I smeared the butter all over it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put Cajun seasoning on mine and I'm gonna let these guys throw what, what you guys want on yours. But I'm gonna make mine freaking spicy. Not really. This shit's bomb. Uh, it smells so good. It's not really that spicy, it's just kind of like Cajun, you know what I mean? You can throw a tiny hint of that one on the other one, too. Yeah, a it smells tiny. really good, yeah. If I get it. Huh? Yeah, it's perfect. It's so delicious. Good old lemon pepper. Well, don't get that in your eyes. Garlic salt. Nice. Yeah, don't get that in your eyes. That'll hurt, huh? Alright. Alright. That's the end product. This is theirs. I already ate mine. But uh, start to finish, that is red salmon on the grill. Looks just like this. Yep, definitely good. Definitely gonna hit the spot, give us a... Good morning, guys. Hooked on Alaska. Then I got the Chris's, they're sleeping. He's back there somewhere. But. We're back at the Russian River. I did a little bit of Lasco at the trout. So it should be fun. Ooh. Sleepy. Sleepy, sleepy. But uh, we'll see you guys here shortly. All right, guys. We are on our last few hours here on this trip. We are awake and we are all geared up. Everybody's all set. We got Chris's. And we are headed to go do a little bit of Rambo trout fishing. So we had fished the Russian River, did really good, and then decided to move on and go catch reds for a little bit. And the whole time we were fishing reds, we were, we were Jones in this uh, trout bite. So hopefully the trout are biting good today and uh, we can really capitalize on it. But uh, we're going to get after it and uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah. Got a nice bow here, guys. Good way to end the day, huh? Got a bad boy right there. Got him on the old hooked on Alaska special. I'll show you guys how to make that.
Welcome to the dog, see you guys at Snap Quick Pick of Me. Last Boski. Dude, in like eight inches of water, I got this guy, dude. A bow. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna have you guys snap another pick. <laughs> Dude, it's yeah, not bad. Uh, she's already rolling. She's already rolling. Yep. Yeah. Not bad. 18 inches. Yeah. Nice and fat, healthy fish. I knew there was a. No, oh, it's a big old bow. It's a nice one though. Yeah. Will you take a picture of it? Yeah, I gotta get this one out. Oh, okay. I just wanted to see it from far. It looks like a dolly. Yeah. Nice bow. Yeah. Nice bands. Come on, we need a 30 inch dude. We got some studs today, decent. Yeah, that's a beautiful one. All the colors on that one. After these rainbows, I had one really thump me really good earlier right here, so yeah. Figure before I head up the Russian, I'll give it a shot. Hey, what's up, guys? Chris here, and the Chris's Chris McAllister Miller. Miller. I knew that. We've been up. We've been fishing. We've had very little sleep in the last two days. We uh. First we started out at the Russian River, then we went to Centennial Park, then we went to Bing's Landing, then we went back to the Russian River. So we have been quite busy these last few days. We had some pretty phenomenal rainbow trout fishing. Chris over here slayed the reds. Uh, me and Chris, we did okay on reds. We got like one. <laughs> no, you got, I got, I got, a solid I got two, one. one. I got a solid I, 13. I, I landed one, lost two. But anyways, we had a great time down there, and uh, we're wrapping things up. We're headed home, going home to see the family. So I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we're gonna have a pretty killer video coming out here any day. So, well, you guys are watching it now, so that's how tired I am. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting close to Anchorage, and we'll be home very soon. So I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, lots of great stuff to come our way. These guys will probably help me out more often in my videos, because they were a great help, and they definitely, uh, they definitely hung in with me. I, I went pretty hardcore, and I wasn't really sure if they were going to be able to hang in there, but they were 100% down to do what we did. So, and it was quite tough, and but it was every second of it. I, I don't regret it. It was a lot of fun, and uh, we got some great fish. Chris back here, he got two PBs on this trip, so.
So yes, sir. We got some pictures. We'll have some brief pictures of it. We'll have a story to go along with that, and uh, all kinds of good stuff coming y'all's way. So I appreciate you guys watching. Remember to hit like, subscribe, share, and uh, we all say peace. Peace. Peace out. All right, we'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna tell everybody your feet, dude. Oh, dude, they are just stacked. My fly was on top, and I washed them. On the wild side. I guess my mama was right. Cause when the clock strikes midnight, gonna ride the lightning, feel the thunder, till the darkness pulls me under. Gonna fly on wings of fire, breathing good. Fish, beautiful fish. Just got on the river. Singing out oh, when they call me on. I'm gonna ride the lightning. There's a man in a black coat standing at a crossroads. With a pen in his hand and a long list of lost souls. They say flips a corn fools at a fool's gold. There's a man in a black coat standing at a crossroads. I hope he lets me pass by. When I close my eyes, I'm gonna ride the lightning, feel the thunder, till the darkness pulls me under. Gonna fly on.